showing y'all some of my favorite natural hair care essentials. I mean this one, but if you're more on a budget, baby, go with that cream of nature. It does the same thing and it smells just as good, if not better. So next, we're taking it all the way back. Like my mom used to use this on me. Nine times out of 10, it's because it's cheap, but this does leave it feeling moisturized. Grape seed, I done tried every oil in the book, but I always find myself going back to the Jamaican Mango and Lime Black Castor Oil. If it doesn't work, I don't know, return it or something, but I like it. <laughs> welcome back to another video and in today's video girl I'm about to be showing y'all some of my favorite natural hair care essentials y'all know that our crowns are temples so we really need to make sure that we're taking care of them so I'm just gonna show y'all a few things that I like to use to make sure that my hair is nice and moisturized and not dry and I'm really taking care of it while it's in protective styles or just wearing it out and stuff first we're gonna start off with like combs brushes and the actual manual things that I use then we'll get into like products so the first thing that I like to use is this Goody hairbrush. I know that some people are like iffy on brushes when it comes to natural hair, they just like to comb it. But I find that when I use a brush paired with a comb, that's when my hair is the most detangled. And I don't feel like it causes breakage if you know what you're doing and you're doing it right. And you're not just pulling on your hair and brushing it while it's dry. So yeah, I like to use this brush right here. It's real pretty, it's real purple, real cute. The second brush that I like to use is when I'm in the shower. If you saw my shower routine, I actually didn't use it this time, but typically when my hair is just angled, just a mess, I like to use this because as you can see, it comes apart, right? So that's really, really good. This is a detangling brush that like, that's what it's advertised for. I think I got it off of Amazon like a really long time ago. It says Pat, like P-A-T with a period. So I guess that's the brand name, but this brush right here, this is real good. It just slides through your hair when you have some conditioner on it. This will really do the trick while you're in the shower washing your hair or just in general if your hair is damp. Do not use it on dry hair though. No ma'am. I think my favorite hair utensil I guess would be my good old wide tooth comb because y'all know how we are with wide tooth combs. We can't be using the little thin baby combs. No. This wide tooth comb has been with me through a lot and it hasn't broken or anything like that. Where is this from? I don't even know, it's probably from the beauty supply. It's just a regular black wide tooth comb. This is my good old Faithful, this is my good Judy, this is my girl right here. I think my second favorite hair utensil would be my pick. Cause whenever my hair is out, you know, you use your pick to get your extra volume without messing up your hair, without having it being frizzy, but still being voluptuous. So yeah, girl. If you don't have a pick, I would definitely recommend that you get a pick if you like to wear your hair out and curly and stuff, whether that's like twist outs, braid outs, or just your natural curl pattern. But yeah, picks are definitely a must. I know some people like to use the plastic ones, but I feel like the metal ones just hit different. Like the plastic, they're okay, but the metal ones just get the job done. The next hair utensil <laughs> is my nasty, just nasty. Do you see this? nasty edge brush i done had this for a long time but y'all know the nastier the edge brush the more build up in it the better it works this is my good judy right here like i love this edge brush so much and it's so pretty it's zebra print i used to have another one it was blue but yeah gotta have an edge brush this is the one that comes with two different brushes one used to be soft and one was like hard ish but now they're both just hard so there's that <laughs> and then it comes with a little comb attachment on the end. I like to use that just to make sure that my edges are really, really sleek. The last two little utensils are these two brushes. So this one is more of a hard brush, you know, for when you're slicking your hair up or just slicking it back and you want it to just be really sleek. This is, it doesn't show me where it's from. It's probably from the beauty supply store once again, but yeah, it's just a hard bristle brush. Really, really love it. The dirtier, the more build up, the better. Y'all know how it is. And then I have this Evolve little bristle brush. This is a soft bristle brush. I mostly use this for like when I'm first slicking up my edges, if I'm doing like a updo or something. But yeah, it's just small, just a little tiny one. So I usually use these two together when I'm doing like updos and stuff. This one for the back 
in like the really hard places and this one just to like touch it up since it's soft and cute. All right, so next we're gonna be going into some more like moisturizing and conditioning products that I like to use on my hair. First off, I like to use this Cream of Nature Mango and Shea Butter Ultra Moisturizing Leave-In Conditioner, baby. This smells so good. This is the best smelling like hair product I've ever smelled in my life. Like it smells so good, it's very hydrating. It doesn't leave a white cast. Like I really, really love this. This is like my OG. I'm gonna always have a bottle of this, always. The next moisturizer that I like to use is the Camille Rose Curl Love Moisture Milk, the rice milk and macadamia oil. This is a moisturizing cream as well. This smells so, so good. But this one is real expensive. This is like $16, I think. It might've went down. I haven't bought any more in a long time, so I'm not really sure, but I know that Camille Rose is pretty pricey. Camille, Miel, all of them. They pretty expensive, but they work though. So I'm willing to pay the price when it comes to my hair care. This is a really, really good product. It's very, very moisturizing. If you are willing to pay the money, I would definitely recommend this one. But if you're more on a budget, baby, go with that cream of nature. It does the same thing and it smells just as good, if not better. And the next product is my Kinky Curly Not Today Natural Leave-In Detangler. So this acts as both a detangler and a moisturizer, but I mostly use it as a detangler. But yeah, this one right here, if your hair is tangled, you need this. Like, this is literally the best detangler I've ever used. And so this is the only one that I use. I haven't used another one in years because it's so good like it's so moisturizing it doesn't leave your hair feeling stripped and dry it's just bomb it is kind of pricey too though but i think this one is definitely definitely worth it so next we're taking it all the way back like my mom used to use this on me this is the africa's best hair mayonnaise a deep conditioner this smells so good to me i don't know why it looks just like mayonnaise it's just yellow real thick but this does leave my hair very, very moisturized. Like, very moisturized. It says it helps treat and repair dry or damaged hair. And I definitely can say my hair is on the drier side most of the time. Like, I have to really put in products for it to stay moisturized and hydrated. But this, if I ever need a little pick-me-up or a little deep condition, I'll definitely go to this. And it gets me right every single time. Staying in the Africa's Best family, I like to use the Africa's Best Maximum Strength Super Grow Hair and Scalp Conditioner. It says it eliminates dryness and breakage with a deep penetrating formula. And this is the olive oil one, extra virgin olive oil. This is what it looks like. This must be a kind of new one. But whenever I have braids, or mini twists like this, any protective style, or just on my natural hair in general, I like to use some type of oil or like oil-based moisturizing scalp conditioner, and this is the one that I typically go to. Nine times out of 10, it's because it's cheap, but this does leave it feeling moisturized, and I don't get any like dry patches or anything like that, so I definitely like her. When it comes to oiling my hair, I only use one oil. I used to try all the different oils, coconut, olive avocado grape seed i didn't tried every oil in the book but i always find myself going back to the jamaican mango and lime black castor oil this oil is the best oil ever y'all know this is an og everybody that heard it is everybody that had this this is my favorite oil i love the applicator i love that it doesn't weigh my hair down i just I really like it and I feel like this does really contribute to my hair growth underneath my protective style so I just really really like it. Any type of black castor oil or natural oil I think it was very very good for you. Another utensil <laughs> that I forgot to mention earlier is my scalp massager that I use when I wash my hair. This is by Max Soft. You just hold it just like this and you just massage your scalp girl. It's supposed to stimulate growth. It's supposed to just really cleanse your scalp. and I think that it works, I don't really know, but what I do know is that when I wash my hair in the shower, baby, this feels so good. This is the best massage you'll ever get when it comes to your scalp in the shower, I promise. Just, it feels so good. I would definitely get one of these. They're not expensive at all either. These are the two heat protectants that I like to use because I do blow dry my hair often when I'm doing protective styles or anything like that because I like to have a nice little foundation to work with. Cream of Nature Heat Protector Smooth and Shine Blowout Cream with Argan Oil. 
I love this one right here. It's really moisturizing, really, 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 really like it. But this one is bomb too. I know black people don't really be using Tresemme like that, but this, this heat protectant is really good. This is the Tresemme Heat Tamer Spray Protection up to 450 degrees. And if y'all saw my wash day routine where I got heat damage, don't think it's because of this. It's not because of this at all. It's because I just kept forgetting to use heat protectant. But this heat protectant is really good. That's why it's so flat because I just, I always use it. This is like my third bottle, best heat protectant, I'm telling you. And now moving on to like the gels and the edge controls that I use. I do use the Eco Styler edge control from time to time only when my hair is out and I want a little extra definition on my curls. I don't like... I don't put a lot of it on there because I do feel like Eco Styler does flake up a lot so I don't really like that but I do use it from time to time I'm just not gonna show it because I don't use it enough but I do like to use the edge booster this is the stronghold styling gel this is the pineapple scented one this is really really good whenever I'm doing my twist outs braid outs or anything like that I like to use this gel just a little bit though paired with a nice little twisting cream or twisting souffle it doesn't really leave any white residue on me so that's why I think it's nice and if you're looking for a good one I would definitely try this one out they come in a lot of different sizes so you can just try a small one and if it doesn't work I don't know return it or something but I like it <laughs> and staying in the edge booster family this is my I wouldn't say my favorite this is my second favorite edge control this is the edge booster style factor extra strength and moisture rich pomade that is a lot to say extra strength and moisture rich pomade this is for thick and coarse hair baby i use this all the time it's almost gone it's like literally at the bottom i'm probably gonna have to go buy some more soon this is the violet crystal color it's just really pretty really pretty really cute it does what it needs to do but I do like the Murray's edge wax the best I think that's my number one you know the one in the little white bottle I just don't have any on me because I've been using this one but the Murray's edge wax is really really good for laying down my edges specifically and then the last little gel that I have is my shine and jam condition and shine gel extra hold so whenever I'm doing sleek styles updos anything like that I always use this I don't really use any other gel really I used to use the black jam but I just like this one better so this is one that I use all the time and my all-time must-have natural hair product is my good old water bottle I use this water bottle for everything I mix water and oil in here I make a little concoction and this is a like a misting spray bottle so girl you don't got to do all that ch -ch 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 -ch. no just a couple spritz and your hair will be nice and damp i definitely recommend getting one of these if you don't own a misting spray bottle because it's really worth the investment if you have the time money to go look for it i really really like it all right and the final two products that i like to use on my hair are the aussie moist products i use the miracle moist conditioner with avocado and jojoba oil and i use the matching shampoo these get me together every time. They're real inexpensive. They're really moisturizing, really hydrated, and I just love them. These are my girls right here. All right, so that's all for my hair care essentials. Thank y'all so much for watching, and I'll see y'all in the next one.